Technology really has changed the way we, we learn. And, uh, and kids are really accepting of this. If you can think it, you can do it in regards to your learning now. And I, th I think the kids understand that and, and they enjoy that more. A lot of the projects that, uh, that are designed here are designed with the environmental focus, you know. And if you're going to do that, we're better to do that than outdoors. The reality of the world is that kids are very, very into technology. And a lot of the kids that I work with are more comfortable um, with digital devices than they are with, uh, with, with nature. But having those devices be part of their learning experience you know, can be a way of, of pulling them in and, uh, and applying their existing knowledge to, to a new thing. Over the past couple of years, I've been incorporating more technology in my classroom. And what it has enabled me to do is to bridge my classroom teaching, the textbook types of skills and concepts that my students are learning with what is actually out in the real world. And they get the connections between what is taught in the books and what is real life. You really have to get kids doing something, collecting things, analyzing things, writing about these things, and then applying and doing something so that it's shared with someone else. The kids are outfitted today with digital cameras and tablets. Part of what we do is to gather data about the property. Kids are taking photographs of species they find. Kids are also helping to document ecological condition in each of these natural community types that they're studying. Well, I've been uploading some pictures onto Project Noah. You can post whatever you really want to, like animals and um, organisms. I write what it looks like and where I found it. I'm hoping that someone actually posts something about it, like the scientific name on it. We have our own school mission on the site so then they get to put their information all together in a collaborative unit and people from around the world including scientists can go to our site and see what types of animals and plants live on our island. This data is not just going into a file someplace, I'm actually using it. This class, for example, has been measuring erosion along the shoreline of this preserve since 2007, so we're actually taking their information and, and acting on it, uh, which, is, which is really uh, a wonderful thing because they get to see um, the, the benefit and the, and the community benefit of their hard work. By incorporating the technology and taking my kids out into the field, they're so much more engaged. They don't see the writing and the revision and the, the editing and drafting as a chore when they know that there's a real purpose. And there's some really unique and pretty complex things that kids are doing in the classroom or out of the classroom. And sharing those with uh, other students is important, but sharing with parents so they know what's going on uh, and also sharing them with the community. That's what we're about. We're not about policies, we're not about just handbooks, we're about learning. Most of what I do as an environmental educator is, is mostly about inspiration. It's the information is secondary, but if I can help kids be excited about being outdoors, have positive experiences outdoors, especially when they're young, it, it turns technology from a distraction and from something that's pulling them away from what's important in life into something that's directing them towards um, and helping them learn about the things that are really important in life. So we try to instill that idea of, of stewardship and once, once you get to know something and love something, you, you have a responsibility to, to give back to it. And the quality of work that I see from students has increased because they feel it has a purpose and a reason and it's not just me looking at it. They understand they have a broader audience and they want to take pride in what they're doing. What I see in the end is much better than what I did when everything was just paper and pencil. Learning is not just within the walls of the school. The school's role is to help students develop an understanding and appreciation of the natural world, but also to make sure that they had a strong ethic regarding environmental sustainability and stewardship. It's not about just preparing them to you know, graduate from high school, it's preparing them for, for the world. You know, and to enjoy the world, to appreciate the world. So, I mean, when they leave, we want them to be stewards of the world.